It was Christmas Eve and it was the year 1800. On the outskirts of the snowy city of London, England, lived Isaac Lee Grossman, a seven-year-old boy who spent the night alone in his dusty attic. That magical night, Isaac asked the stars to have a friend to play with, and luckily his wish was granted. When he woke up, he found at the foot of his bed a strange handmade wooden box painted with beautiful colors and patterns of happy clowns. It had a label that said, For Isaac, and an engraved text, Laughing Jack in a Box. He had never received a gift, and he was excited. He impatiently grabbed the metal handle on the box and turned it. Then the song Pop Goes the Weasel played. The box opened and colored smoke and confetti shot out. There was something else. It was a slim, multicolored clown. He had bright red hair, a large rainbow nose and ruffled cyan on white feathers on his shoulders. His arms were long and hung almost reaching the ground. Who are you? Jack, I'm your new friend for life. I'm magical, I never get tired of playing, and I adapt to your personality. In other words, what you like, I like it. Isaac was delighted. He spent his days playing with Jack and listening to his stories. One warm spring day, Isaac went out into the garden to play pirates with Jack for a while. He saw the neighbor's cat jump over the fence, and he asked Jack to catch it. The clown reached out and caught the unsuspecting feline. It tried to wriggle free and Jack squeezed harder to contain it, until the cat ran out of air. Isaac began to laugh out loud without being able to help it. His mother appeared and asked for an explanation. He tried to tell her that it had been his friend Jack, but she didn't believe him, and worried she decided to send him to boarding school. Isaac couldn't take Jack's box with him, so he said goodbye to his friend, and had no choice but to return his box. Time passed and Laughing Jack remained locked up. Every day he waited for his special friend, but this never came. Over the years, the bright colors of the clown began to fade to a black and white void. When Isaac turned 20, his parents passed away, and he inherited his old house. One day, Jack heard someone coming up the stairs. It was Isaac. He seemed different. He had a dark and strange look. Once in the room, he completely ignored Jack's box. The clown was disappointed. That same night, Isaac invited a friend over to his house. Everything was going perfectly until they started a fight. Isaac angrily punched him so hard that his friend hit his head on the bookshelf and collapsed on the floor, leaving a puddle of blood. Jack watched the scene from his little prison. What a wonderfully fascinating game, the clown thought, and he couldn't help but to start to laugh out loud. Isaac's gaze had a glimmer of madness. With his toolbox, he set out to dispose of the corpse. He first used a curved knife and skinned the body. Then in a metal garbage can, he poured chemicals to break down the meat. He took out the bones and placed them on the table. Laughing Jack watched intently as his old friend crafted a grotesque human chair. He covered the seat with the skin and placed the skull on top. Isaac was satisfied with his work, but still thirsty for blood. In the weeks that followed, he perfected his workshop of horrors with a torture bed and new tools. He carved a sinister and terrifying wooden mask, similar to those of the Venetian carnival, and went in search of new prey. Laughing Jack watched as Isaac's personality became increasingly dark and sadistic. He cruelly tortured and murdered his guests as they begged for mercy. One cold December night, the rusty nails on one of the attic shelves gave way, and several things collapsed, including Jack's box. Isaac decided to go up to investigate, and found with the surprise box of his childhood. He held the object between his hands and began to turn the crank. The song Pop Goes the Weasel played, and Isaac sang the final verse. The box was open, but nothing happened. It was empty. He threw it to the ground and turned around. Just then, he heard a creepy, hoarse voice. Isaac. Laughing Jack was completely washed out, his shaggy black hair falling to his shoulders. His teeth were sharp in the shape of an insane smile, and his clothes had lost their color. So good to finally be free. Did you miss me? Now I can finally play with my best friend. Isaac was paralyzed with fear. Jack's long arms grabbed his legs and pulled him onto the torture bed. The clown took a knife with his sharp fingers and cut off Isaac's tongue. Everything was filled with blood. Isaac writhed in pain and closed his eyes. Jack grabbed some nails and pried open the eyelids to nail them to the eyebrow and cheek to keep his friend wide awake. Then he made a cut in his belly through which he was able to remove the intestines to make a beautiful bow that he placed on his head. Isaac was getting more and more tired. Before he lost consciousness, he saw how countless cockroaches came out of the clown's mouth and flooded his body. 
He could feel them inside him devouring his flesh. It has been a pleasure, Isaac, but now I have to go play with other lonely children in the world. Laughing Jack took leave of his friend with these words and tore out his heart, which was still beating. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you want to see more Draw My Life videos, subscribe to our channel. See you on the next episode!